Hi, my name is Annabelle. I'm originally from Albuquerque, and I'm not really a pirate. <laughs> I'm actually a cosplayer, which means that I love dressing up and going out to different events as my favorite characters. Now, before I became a cosplayer, I was actually really shy, like in a geek kind of way, too shy to even go to a comic convention, until one day, the stars aligned, and I ended up working for one. Now, a lot of my Comic-Con work involved going to street team events. And in one of those, I met cosplayers for the very first time. Three bounty hunters from the local Mandalorian Marks group. <laughs> now, the thought of dressing up as Boba Fett was so appealing to me that I had to get involved. <laughs> That's actually me and the silver. That's me and my partner, Alan Amos, who's sitting right there in costume as well. I'm going to call you out. <laughs> I went through the club and he actually got me involved through cosplay, with building my costume and getting out there. And one of the first things I learned about the hobby was that for every hour you see one of us out in public in costume, there are countless more behind it, planning and building what we're wearing, and it has a way of working its way into your social calendar, even during the holidays. And it's not just bounty hunters who are out there dressing up. I've partied with superheroes, I've been chased away by zombies, I even caught the Ghostbusters doing their stuff a few times. And the more people I met, the more I wanted to build. It got to the point where I'd walk home, it got to the point where I'd get home, sit down and watch TV, and find myself surrounded by helmets instead of pets. <laughs> and the more you build, the more excuses Alan and I had to go to conventions all across the country. That's him at Star Wars Celebration in Florida, and that's me at San Diego Comic Con, kind of the geek mecca. And the more conventions we went to, the more people we met. Now, I'm a gamer, but I've never heard of the game Vanquished until I met this guy, Dan, who's kind of a big fan. <laughs> he spent two whole years planning and building that armor for himself, just to introduce stance to the game. Getting diagnosed with cancer didn't slow Jason down. He and his wife used cosplay as a vehicle to kind of fight the boredom between treatments. Luckily, he had remission, and instead of taking a break, he made this costume. <laughs> Now when I saw this picture online, I thought it was a screenshot out of a game. It looks like he walked straight out of Metal Gear Solid. Now this is actually Rick. He's a father, teacher, and he's from the Netherlands. Now, the more I went about, I noticed that on websites and through convention photography, there was less of a focus on all the men out there and the guys I'd met, and there was more on women, which I benefit from, but still, I wanted to see more guys out there. And I wondered why this was, and I looked around conventions, and I noticed most of the photographers were men. <laughs> so I thought to myself, well, I really want to get out there, and I really want to see more of these projects featuring men, because they look so awesome to me. <laughs> so I thought to myself, well, what can I do? Then I thought, there's no reason why I can't go out there and make a project of my own with all these guys that I've met. So I threw together a logo, and I put together, oh, Actually, in one of my over-caffeinated brainstorming sessions, <laughs> I was like, we should totally do a male cosplay calendar. The little more cool cosplay, and less shirtless cowboy. <laughs> so I threw together a logo, I put up a website. Before I could even talk about wanting to make a calendar, people from all over the world were sending me pictures, pictures of themselves in cosplay, which really got the ball rolling. Now, this is actually a photo shoot we did locally for Ben, which is one of his first shoots, in a park where he set up an obstacle course. He looked so, he looked so intimidating, but the park ranger came by and almost kicked us out. <laughs> and I later got Dan involved, and bystanders were so curious seeing him marching around downtown Seattle in his armor that they had to stop by and engage him and see what he was up to, including this adorable newlywed couple. Now, when everything was ready, I threw together a Kickstarter and crossed my fingers. And the support was overwhelming. Within one week, the project had fully funded. <laughs> cosplay really is a way for people all around the world to connect and inspire each other. And cosplay, for me, has kind of become my armor and built confidence for me in ways I couldn't have possibly imagined. Thank you.